time make it memorable uh, once again this music that I play is, is highly experiential that's why festival culture and EDM go hand in hand mm -hmm. um, and uh, I want to I want to elevate that experience so I want but I also want to do it with my own twist right so um, that's why I inter inter introduced the idea of you know rafting with the crowd mm -hmm. um, and then what we talked about with the cakes professional cake uh, right so and then, but the most important thing, that people aren't going to go into your your stage or to your concerts without the music. The music is the, the guiding principle of why someone's going to go see your music, right? Mm -hmm. I, like, if I if I made bad music and no one liked my music, no one would want to get some cake on their face at my show. So, my my main goal is to make music that connects with people. And, um, and you know, I'm out here, I'm, I'm from L.A., and I'm, I make, you know, like a mix of American and global electronic music, right? So my new album is called Colony, and uh, and actually three artists that are playing on this at this festival are on my new album. Okay. So it's like it's very like timing is great. Mm -hmm. um, I just dropped my single with with Two Chains called Without You last week, which okay. is awesome. I'll be playing tonight, and I did song. I did actually. A, you know, a bunch of songs with Lizzy Burt, one of which is going to be on the album, and I'm going to drop that and you know see what see Miss Tess, see how the crowd reacts to that one. Um, and I did a song with Migos as well, which is coming out the top of June, and uh, and you know a song with uh, with Gucci as well. So and then with NT Pain. Like okay. They both. They both you know, worked with everybody. Cause how do you go from working with an artist like Little John, and then you have a song with like One Direction, or then you yeah. turn around and do a song with Migos? Um, I keep my like. There's there's no walls up, you know. So, and I work with. I, I also worked. Uh, did a song with Lady Antebellum, which is coming out like later. And on. that's country. Yeah. 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 Exactly. But I don't want to have barriers, and that's a, that's a great thing about um, not not like pigeonholing yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a music producer, so I want to be in the studio with anyone that is doing something that is inspiring. You know, I don't have to listen to the entire catalog of their music so much as to be inspired by that moment, to be on the page and go, let's create something new and see if we can get there. And there's plenty of times I've been in sessions where there's the song, we just didn't put out the song. You know, we didn't put out the music. It's got to be special. It's got to be something where we're like, all right, we did something that we couldn't do without each other that you know hopefully will add a bit more color to the you know this to, to to work to life you know do you feel like you're making your sound of edm colorless ageless i mean classless because we've listed a whole slew of different artists with different right. genres different ages and different backgrounds and have touched different generations that yeah i guess that 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 goal is a great goal to have you know like um if i see i see a crowd that's you know, all different walks of life to, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from and you're having a good time. That's definitely the best feeling, you know. And uh, and I love playing festivals where everyone's popping up with their the flags of the different countries they're from. And like, you know, it doesn't matter what religion you are, what, you know, you know where you where you're coming from life and, and everyone's getting together and having a good time. I think that's what we need right now in America, especially in such a turbulent time, that right. we have music that is for everyone. Exactly. Because we, music kind of just brings us all together. Don't right. you agree? 100 percent. Yeah, we definitely need more of that. We need, we need more of that um, that feeling for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Now I have to ask you, this is a question I always do. What's the first thing you say to yourself when you wake up in the morning? I say to myself? Yeah. Or you just say. <laughs> First thing you say. So, or, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just have no idea. And I don't know what time it is, you know, I take those mid-afternoon naps, which yeah. is what I, I'm a nap guy, okay? So, sometimes I wake up from a nap, I'm like, I have no idea what time it is, where I am in the world, and then I realize I'm in Beirut, or, you know, or <laughs> Oklahoma City, which is yesterday, you know? So, it's, you know, it's just, it's just life on the road is sometimes a big blur. Okay, you're straight out on Desert Island, you can only listen to three records for the rest of your life, and it can't be EDM music. <laughs> it wouldn't be EDM music anyways. <laughs> uh, I, I'd say um, the Beatles, my favorite, oh. my favorite band of all time. Um, favorite ra like songs or, or, or albums? Okay, all right. Album. Well, the Beatles uh, anthology album with every song of theirs. <laughs> Is that I can, if I can do that, I can cheat a little bit. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll pick something relevant. I, I, I love Little Lizzie Vert, so I'll, I'll take his whole, like, I'll make a Little Lizzie Vert mix CD of all his music. I'll, you know, I love, I love what he's doing. Um, and I will pick, um, let's see, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, once again, every song. <laughs> okay, last thing. Who is V? Like, who is V outside of music? Who are you? Who am I? I am a... Asian American um, that that's a music trafficker. Traffic that music, get that music out there. And uh, I love what I do. I feel, I feel very lucky to, to be in the position I'm in, and and uh, to be on this stage with all these incredible artists. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So, get ready for my show. I think I'm on in like a few minutes. And I'm excited. All right, there you go. Right. It's been my pleasure, Lar Marcel. And Steve, the man, the cake thrower, the producer, the DJ, the traveler, like, and he is now, what do you, you said he was a uh, music? Music trafficker. Music trafficker. I'm not trying to get dressed, he's trafficking music. You guys stay tuned. Yeah. Alright, 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 guys. Alright, alright. Yeah, but if you're free. We love that. going now? Yeah, I'm going to play late, like, like, in 30 minutes. How long are you sitting? An hour. Like right before that, I do the cakes too. Yeah. Steve, you get the cake. You gotta get that amigo. Amigo five. Get amigo five, man. Let's do that together. Let's go. Let's go.